Hello, Grade 11s. Today we're going to explore the properties of the exponential graph. The standard equation of the exponential graph is y equals to a times b to the power of x plus q. a is the constant which determines whether the graph lies above or below the asymptote. The value of b determines the direction in which the graph curves. Q is the vertical shift and gives us the value of the horizontal asymptote. But the exponential graph is not restricted to vertical shifts only. The graph can also move horizontally. This is the basic exponential graph. f of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. There is no Q value in the equation, which means that this graph has not shifted up or down. The asymptote is then y is equal to 0. Now on the same system of axes, let's shift the graph up 3 units. We will call it h of x. The equation of the translated graph is h of x is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 3. Remember that the asymptote of the original graph, f of x, was y equals 0. When it is shifted three units up, the asymptote also shifted three units up. That means the graph h of x has a horizontal asymptote of y is equal to three. Let's take the graph h of x and shift it four units to the left and call it g of x. The equation of g of x is two to the power of x plus four plus three. So when the graph moves to the left, we add to x. This means that when we want to shift a graph to the right, we need to subtract from x. The value we add or subtract is labeled with the variable p. This gives us our new standard formula for an exponential function. y equals a times b to the power of x plus p plus q. Let's summarize the properties of the exponential graph. The standard equation of the exponential graph is y equals a times b to the power of x plus p plus q. If the value of a is positive and the value of b is greater than 1, the graph lies above the asymptote and is an increasing function. But if the value of b lies between 0 and 1, then the graph is decreasing but still lies above the asymptote. The graph will lie below the asymptote if the value of a is negative. In this case, if b is greater than 1, then the graph is a decreasing function. If b lies between 0 and 1, it will be an increasing function. The value of p shifts the graph left and right. If p is positive, the graph will shift to the left. If p is negative, then the graph will shift right. The value of q shifts the graph up and down and also establishes the horizontal asymptote. The domain is x is an element of real numbers. The range is dependent on the value of a and q. If a is positive, then y will be more than the value of q. If a is negative, then y is less than the value of q. Let's see what information we can get by just looking at the equation. g of x is equal to 2 times 3 to the power of x. This is the equation of an exponential graph because it follows the standard form. The value of a is 2, and therefore the graph lies above the asymptote. The asymptote is defined by y equals q. There is no q in the equation, so the asymptote is y equals 0. The graph is an increasing function, as the value of a is positive and the value of b is greater than 1. Remember to try the task video. You can also learn more about exponential graphs on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Goodbye.